Hi, my name's Sam, and today I'll be showing you how to use USB pedals with Paradiddle VR. USB pedals are a useful option, as they can be used with both the standalone and PC VR versions of Paradiddle, and are affordable when compared to other pedal options. There are a few different types of USB pedals, and we'll link ones that we have verified to work in the description below. For today, I'll be using these USB foot switches but other pedals should work similarly. For standalone, you will also need a USB hub with a Type-C connector to plug the pedals into the headset. Almost any model should work. I'll be using this Sabrent USB hub with a USB-C to A adapter. We recommend using a cable tie to keep most of the pressure off of the plug as they can be damaged fairly easily. To start off, you will need a computer, but it doesn't need to be very powerful, just enough to run a simple setup program. These pedals come with a mini disc with the pedal software, but we recommend downloading the latest software from software.pcsensor.com. Once you have the software installed, plug one of the pedals into your computer. These pedals basically act like a keyboard with a single button. The button that it activates can be programmed to any key on the keyboard. Paradiddle can use your keyboard to activate the kick or hi-hat. This is actually how I started years ago. Highlight the key one tab and hit the space bar. Next, hit save to key. This should program the pedal to always hit the spacebar when it's pushed. You can test this out in any basic text editor. If you have two pedals, set the second one to H for hi-hat. Once that's done, plug the pedals into your computer or headset and start up Paradiddle. Once you're in Paradiddle, open up the menu and go to Options, Controls, Keyboard. You should see bindings for hi-hats and kick drum already there. First, let's test the kick drum. Spawn in a kick drum, switch to your sticks, and hit the pedal. If it doesn't activate at first, go back to the bindings and select Trigger Kick Drum. The hi-hat by default should be bound to the control key. This key cannot be read on standalone headsets. Rebind the key by hitting the Rebind button and pushing the pedal. The key should change to the H button we programmed earlier. Spawn in hi-hats, switch to your sticks, and check to verify the pedal works correctly. I personally like the pedal to make the hi-hats close. I can change that by setting the pedal to close hi-hats. Now, you should have working pedals to better emulate playing drums on a real kit. If this video was helpful to you, make sure to give it a thumbs up, spread the word, and leave us a comment on what topic we should cover next. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.